Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see that how we can disable control panel using group policy in Windows Server 2022. So for that, I already have Windows Server 2022 installed in VMware and I have also installed Active Directory Domain Services and uh, this has given me a domain. So I have a domain controller and Windows 10 is actually part of that domain and after that i want that if a user logs in into this domain using this computer with his or her credentials they should not be able to see control panel and for that i'll be using group policy and uh, group policy simply is a tool or set of tools we can use to apply security settings to users and computers so in our case we want to apply some security settings in this domain that any user with a specific user accounts when they log in they should not be able to see control panel and we why we want to do this because control panel is something is a feature in windows by which we can view or anyone they can view and change the computer hardware or software setting for example they can disable network interface card and we will not be able to access internet services so that's an important feature and we want to disable it using group policy and for that I will show you this in VMware. Okay, now to demonstrate that how we can disable control panel for users. Uh, so for that, I have this VM, uh, VMware and this uh, VMware I have installed Windows Server 2022 and this Windows 10. And from Windows 10, this is actually client machine and this client machine is uh, uh, a part of this uh, domain here. And in this domain, actually, I have created some user accounts. So I can show you those user accounts like in tools and Active Directory users and computers. And you can see we have here organizational unit that is department. And within that department, I have two groups like student and teacher. So I have another video how to create user accounts and groups. You can go through that video. But in this video, I'm going to show you that in Windows 10, if we simply go here in the and search for control panel and you can see we have control panel. And if you click on control panel, you can see all the functions, all the features by which we can disable or enable certain hardware or software. Maybe we can uninstall a program. We can disable network. So these all things a user can do. But now if you want that these things should not be available or this control panel should not be visible to users when they log in into a domain, then we should we should do it or we should enable certain feature here in Windows Server 2022. And for that simple, simply we have to launch our uh, server manager and you can launch from server manager from a start and then you click server manager and in the server manager we need to go to tools and in these tools we have uh, group policy management and in this group policy management we have here uh, forest and then we have domains and gd local gd dot local is the name of the domain which we have created in our previous videos and uh, maybe do like this and here we have here so when we expand this domain we have this gd.local and this domain we have these group policy objects so if we expand it we can see further um, some more group policy objects which have been created for us they are by default there and some of them i have created in my previous videos but now today we are going to apply a group policy to this organizational unit that is department and in this department there are certain users say teacher one and student one they should not be able to see or this this control panel should be disabled for them and for to do this we just simply click here on this department and we say create a gpo in this domain and link it here so we are going to click there and then we are going to name it like disable disable control control this is the name of group policy object which we are creating say okay and after that simply we click right click here disable uh, control panel and click on add it so this is a group policy object which we have created but now we need to uh, edit it as per our requirement so now we have to apply this group policy object uh, to users and computers 
so we have two options computer configurations and user configurations so computer configuration means these policies will be applicable to computers whosoever is a user for that computer and the user configuration these configuration which we set they will be applicable to user accounts not to computers so any users with a specific user accounts they will be um, they will have these settings security settings let's say so in user can we click there and then we click policies and in the policies we have this option that is administrative templates policy definition so we expand this and here we have a control panel we click on control panel and in the control panel we can have different features on the right hand side you can see when we click on control panel here we have different options which we can enable or disable it and for our purpose this is prohibit access to control panel and pc setting this is something i want to configure here or enable it so i'm going to double click this and here there are different options so it says prohibit access to control panel and policy setting this is not configured at the moment i'm going to click on enable so with this in this enable feature and then you can also put some comments here which i'm not going to put at the moment but you can have certain comments here and then enable apply and say okay and here we simply close it and then we close it here and now we have created a group group policy by which some users which are in the department organization organizational unit they should not be able to see and now the users which i have created in departmental organ department organizational unit is teacher one and student one so you can also see from here maybe active directory users and computers in department you can see student oh, sorry this is student and teacher so with this credential if i go to windows 10 and uh, first i'm going to force this policy update the group policy i'm going to cmd so this is my client machine windows 10 i'm going to say group policy update and then say force and press enter and uh, it is updating uh, policy on my client machine which is windows 10 in this case it can have any i mean we can have any machine here windows 11 windows any windows policy update has been completed i'm going to close it and after this let's say and maybe in some cases we need to restart our client machine as well so we if we click on this control panel you see it shows that the operation has been cancelled due to restriction in effect on the computer and please contact your system administrators so sometimes if you want that you should have some special privileges you can contact system administrator but here you can see with these policies which we defined on windows server 2022 for these users and due to those policies when we go to our client machine windows 10 and we start uh, maybe we, we try to use control panel it is not going to allow to use any of the features of windows uh, of, of control panel so yes this is how we can disable control panel using group policies for certain users and in some cases this may be helpful for some of you and thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video thanks